This lesson is to show you how to use TweetGrid when participating in a Twitter party. You want to click in your address bar and type TweetGrid.com, press enter, and when you get there, then click on Party. The next step is you need to know the hashtag for the party. The hashtag is basically the name of the party, and this one is the online mom. If you don't know the host name, the person running the party, you can leave that blank. Then you want to put your username, and then you want to join the party. When you join, you'll see you have two columns. On the left side are all the conversations that are going on from everybody that's participating in the party. On the right side, because you put your username in there, this is your Twitter feed. It could be um, it could be things that you've said and it could be things that people have commented to you because you'll see the at symbol and my username someone has said um, you know something to me and then this is where I've actually said something and then these are other things that I've been posting on Twitter all this week so it's not just things that are participating to the concerning the party it's everything on my Twitter account and you can change this layout say that if you um, find someone out that you want to follow in this party and you want to make another column if you look here at the right you can change the grid layout to how many columns that you want it if you just want to follow the party itself you click on one times one and then now I'm just following the actual party but I think one times two is at least a good option because then you get that second column and you can then see you know what people are saying to you and now because I've changed it I've lost um, my messages so I have to click in this box Type my username again, hit search, and now it's going to it's going to find it's going to bring that back up again. Okay, to participate in this party, you had to RSVP, which I didn't, um, but I just wanted to join in the party to kind of show you what's going on. Uh, to post a, a message, you up here this it puts a standard message in here when you first start off, and you can just delete that. And um, and then when you want to to write something if you don't know how to send a tweet you really should watch my video on how to use Twitter send a tweet retweet because those are things once you're in a party you need to know how to do the basics and in a tweet grid you'll see when you hover over somebody's name you know the thing that they've written you get these buttons and this is where you can reply and retweet it and you can do other things um, Really all you need to know is the reply button and the retweet for the party because the comments go so fast that there's really this is all you can do when you're participating in a party is to to follow the conversation, figure out do I just talk or do I answer questions, how do I win prizes. So this party is all about technology and um, you just have to watch and see what they're talking about. So I think in this party all they're doing is is talking about specific technology or something um, you don't have, have to answer questions to win prizes so each party is different so that's what you want to, to find out when you join a party you know what are the rules how do I win a prize do I have to answer a question um, so let's just watch for a few minutes and see what they're doing you can also hit the stop button if you find that okay it's going too fast and I can't read it if you hit the stop button, you have to be careful that you don't do it too long because you'll miss out on what they're talking about and you could probably, possibly miss out on a prize. Let's see. Hit the search again. There we go. That starts it again. So th this is the basics um, of a Twitter party using TweetGrid. Um, if to find out how um, you win, you can win several ways. If you you win, usually over here on the right side, you're going to see your username, and they're going to say congratulations, and then you'll see it here. And then they will want you to DM the, you DM them your user your name and your address to so you'll get the prize and DM means private it's a private message and if you look up here at the top you see the DM so I could hit the DM and I could put the um, put who it's to I need to know their username and I put the message and I put my username and my password and I'd, I'd hit DM 
that's how you would respond to them so that you could actually get the prize sent to you. If you um, have a address you're putting in there in the Twitter, in the tweet box, you know that um, you only get 140 characters. You see it here in the parentheses. So you want to shorten your conversation as much as possible. So right here you can shorten URL. The shorten, short URL means a URL is basically just a link to a site. So if you're putting a link in there, you can actually short it, shorten it. Let's see what's going on. So that's basically how do you how do you use TweetGrid? And like I said, um, they call it TweetGrid because you can you know change the grid. And here, say if I want to follow a third person, because I know Online Mom is the name of the party, but I also know the Online Mom is a person, and I can follow what she's saying, and she's actually the host. I found out. So online the Online Mom is the name of the party, but the Online Mom is also this person's username and she's running the party. So over here on the left, the full conversation that's going on in the party. Now I've got in the middle, I've got um, me and what I'm saying or what I'm not saying. This is just everything that has to do with me. And then this is another person, online mom. You can continue to make, you know, make it larger if you want. And you see, so you can follow more people. It gets a little bit confusing after a while um, if you have too many of these little windows going on. So. I kind of suggest that you follow the host, you follow, you know, you have your window up and then you have the full party because the host is the one you really want to follow because she's asking the questions like here, how do you feel technology enhances your family lifetime? So that's a question she's an asking and she wants you to answer it. And, and like I said, I think this party is just um, participating in conversation. So you'd want to answer the question and you'd want to participate or you wouldn't have a chance to win the prize. Okay, so that's a, just a short lesson on how to use TweetGrid to enter a Twitter party.